Oh, hey guys, how's it going? So I'm on my way to do a moto camp tonight. And just on a quick stop here to kind of readjust. So I'm doing an ultralight camp out tonight. By ultralight, I mean I have the tiniest 20 liter backpack that's bare only full because I have camera gear. And I've got a 10 liter dry bag and a sit pad. And that's it. And that's everything I need. Mostly I'm ultralight because I don't have any saddlebags or anything yet outfitted for this bike. So I've just got my Yamaha XT250. It's a great little dual sport bike and we've been really enjoying them. Brandon and I both have the same ones. We've been riding them a lot this spring. Um, so I wanted to come out and do a moto camp. Oh, okay. So, I got a new water filter. Um, I've used these before, but I needed a new one really bad. Um, so I picked this up at Cabela's. This is the Be Free, the Catadyne Be Free. And I got the one liter this time. Like a dirty water bag with a filter right attached to it. I bring this on camping trips, like my canoe trips, and it is phenomenal. It's got a really good flow rate. Um, so yeah, because I had to go so ultra light on this trip, I didn't even bring a water bottle because like this is a whole liter um, and that's more than enough if I camp near some water to just be able to go down to the water and refill. So. so obviously lots of tannins in the water. But uh, not a problem at all with this filter. And I know this water comes basically trickling down from Algonquin Park. There's like no development um, up past this way. So I think we're pretty safe. Okay, I'm gonna put the big camera away and get back on the trail. Exhausted. <laughs> oh, found this. Uh, looks like it used to be a trail, or maybe it's just a game trail or something. But I was able to get squeeze the bike in here, and I think it's gonna work. Um. Anyway, so this is where I'm gonna camp for the night because I'm getting too tired to keep looking around, and uh, I wanted a spot I can kind of tuck in and keep the bike in sight. Uh, I hate like trying to stash the bike or something like that. So it's a little pick me up. Then I'm gonna set up camp. Then I'm gonna make a fire and start dinner. <sighs> Cause I'm starving and I'm tired. <laughs> Bikes are super fun, but it's definitely not like riding on a four wheeler. You just sit there and push the throttle. <laughs> it's a lot more technical.
so I'm just preparing my different sizes of kindling. Got like pencil lead, pencil size, marker size, and then bigger and bigger as you go. And I always just prep those different piles. I always leave these two bracing sticks there so I can just lift them a bit and give the fire more oxygen. Then once everything catches a little more, then you can set it back down. Just so you don't smother everything. Good roll and boil going on. We're having lasagna with meat sauce. so good. Wow. A cheesy Italian style tomato sauce and beef. That's good stuff. Yeah. Sorry, my hammock's moving. <laughs> Dang, it's so good. That's really good. What a tip. Out of tick. I get a lot of questions about ticks on my channel on most of my videos you guys see me just kneeling on the ground and stuff like that um, where I live now there's I haven't seen a single tick since I moved here like four years ago um, I'm sure they're headed this way because the weather's been so wacky but where I used to live which was down in like southern Ontario along the 401 there um, ticks are just rampant there so I have no doubt they're on their way up north but luckily we haven't seen any here yet
So I make a little bite. Put that bite through the loop like that. Okay, running end here, tail end here. And then I put my thumbs through the loop, grab both the running end and the tail end, pull them both all the way through. Tighten them up. Now you have something that's not exactly a knot. Really easy to undo. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. There we go. Pretty sweet little camp. So, probably not gonna film too much more tonight. To be honest, I have a really, really bad headache. I'm gonna go get some water and settle in for the night and just kinda take it easy. It's not anything else to do. Bed set up, tarp set up. Everything's tucked away, I've eaten. Happy with the little camp setup. We're kinda deep in the woods here, so it's not like there's anything spectacular to look at or anything like that, but nice to get out. It's just, hear the birds. It's so peaceful out here. So it feels that feels really good. So thanks for watching up to this point. I hope to get a good night's rest and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Spring peepers. It's the best spring sound ever when you're camping. Good morning. In the black fly infested forest. Get out of there. <sighs> black flies are being super annoying, but they're not really biting it. They're just annoying. I'm super cozy right now. I don't feel like getting out of bed. Freaking hot though. I can't believe how warm it is. I didn't think it was going to be this warm today. Got a leg out. So first time trying this sleeping bag. Definitely a win. Big fan of the pillow too, which I'm not, I'm not normally a fan of inflatable pillows. But that was amazing. And the thermorest worked really well in the hammock actually. Just the, ow! Just the thermalist, thermalist clothes. Oh my gosh! All in all, super cozy sleeping situation. I'm having a tough time getting this really gnarly birch bark to start. Yeah. 
There we go. And just like that, the bugs are gone. Breakfast is just a high protein instant oatmeal. And what I love about these packets is that you can pour the water right inside and eat right out of the packet. Basically no dishes. Done. I'm uh, way too hot to have coffee, so. I don't always recommend using your silky saw around the fire, <laughs> but if it's your last resort, whatever. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take this tarp down while my water's boiling. Actually, it kind of provides a nice shade. Maybe I'll pack up the rest instead. So this is the Sea to Summit pillow I was trying out. Super cozy. And I'm not normally one to like these types of pillows, but I was very impressed actually. So for any of the ladies out there interested in this sleeping bag, it's kind of hard to show the shape of it in this hammock right now. But essentially it stays a little bit wider in the hips and then goes down in the toe box. It's the Sea to Summit Flame FM3. FM for women, I guess. 850 down loft, minus 4 Celsius, and it's very, very cozy. Um, so this is my first time trying it out. I'll definitely try it more in the shoulder seasons, but yeah, anyways. I know some of you guys like to see what kind of gear I'm trying out, kind of gear I'm using, and this was really nice. I like the head of it too, it's super cozy in there. Okay, most of you have seen me do this before. You rip off the top, put your hot water, I just wanted you all to know that I failed my breakfast and I put way too much water in it. So it's like slightly flavorless and also soupy. But it happens. <laughs> oh, well, it feels pretty good to be out again. It's been a while. I haven't been very energetic lately. I am dying to do a canoe trip sometime soon.
right, well, there's camp. All broken down and good as new. Time to load up my bike. I just got home and uh yeah it was a great ride it was it's still so warm out so i didn't even need my sweater it's awesome everything went great my uh my love is over there chipping we're doing some work on the property so i'm gonna get suited up and go help him well i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and uh should have another camping adventure coming up soon so stay tuned